Hi all and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing okay. Uh, yeah, still stuffed up with a cold, so you'll have to excuse me again for this one, but uh, just thought I'd bring you up to date with a few bits and pieces from the world of Formula 1 ahead of the Grand Prix this weekend. So, Johnny Herbert has claimed Christian Horner will be unable to control Max Verstappen when they're behind the wheel. He stressed Red Bull struggled to avoid confrontation with Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber almost a decade ago. He explained, Going back to Sebastian and Mark, there was a bit of that, for sure, about the championship. Did they control it? You can probably see what Sebastian did in Malaysia. They weren't able to control that. Can you control the driver when he's in the cockpit? And, you know, that's, that's a fair point, to be honest, because, uh, you know, tensions and that, on the track during a race you can't really control that so uh yeah good point but anyway on to david coulthard who says he'd love f1 to reignite the idea of a grand prix in new york despite the united states already having three races on the calendar coulthard has suggested f1 bring back the idea um back to life and says we tried to get a race in new york several years ago I remember running in one of the Red Bull show cars. I drove part of the section of track in the F1 car and it was unbelievable. Opposite Manhattan, there was a section that made Eau Rouge at Spa look like kid stuff. If they ever were able to reignite that plan right there, I think that would be the perfect place. I think we can go to four races here in future when you consider the land mass. But on the back end of that, uh, apparently the viewing figures for the 2023 Miami Grand Prix were down by a quarter. So according to GP blog, uh, New York could potentially be a future replacement, maybe. Who knows? I mean, I don't know what it is with Miami, but, you know, to lose viewers, Liberty Media will be taking notice of that, I would have thought. Uh, then we come on to Toto Wolff, who is pushing for Mick Schumacher to make his F1 return at Williams. Uh, German media have claimed that Logan Sargent's F1 future may be under threat with Williams' bosses, um, are believed to be dissatisfied with his performances. F1 mania feels that uh, Sargent's performances at the next three races in Imola, Monza, uh, uh, sorry, Monaco and Barcelona could decide his future, but Sargent could be replaced ahead of the Canadian Grand Prix if he doesn't improve. Wolf has also previously um, praised Schumacher and felt his career was nowhere near finished. He also stressed Mercedes would be happy to let Schumacher go at some stage to ensure he got an opportunity to race. And ahead of the new season, you may remember Wolf said, you can see his junior career track record was very good and I believe that if we can give him a safe environment to further develop, he can be a good racing driver in a permanent seat in the future. In the same way, we have let Nick De Vries go in order for him to achieve a career that could, uh, that could be something that could happen to Mick. Whether it's in our team or letting him go somewhere else, we don't know at this stage. Uh, Sargent is one of just two drivers not to score any points this season alongside Alfa Tara's Nick De Vries. Um, I believe Marco may have rubbished the idea that Ricardo would replace him in favour of uh, oh, Liam. Can't remember his last name. Um, but again, yeah, this is another three races which uh, could decide both of their futures. Um, but anyway, uh, Fowles has previously suggested he never rated Sargent, but recently revealed that he had been proven wrong. Fowles said, I now have the ability to look at the data and he is here on merit. Fowles has since said he has no intention of taking up Wolf's recommendation. Uh, and that brings us on to Imola. Uh, there is currently a red weather warning for this weekend's Grand Prix. And today, the Imola circuit was evacuated due to the risk of flooding. Heavy rain is expected to fall in the area over the next few days, uh, with pictures circulating on social media showing plenty of standing water in and around the paddock. However, the on-track action is set to go ahead as planned in spite of Saturday currently looking to be the worst affected over the three-day race weekend. So, uh, we could well 
see an interrupted um, race this weekend, maybe, but I do believe that Sunday is supposed to be the better day of the three, with Saturday being by far the worst, so uh, definitely something to look forward to that one, so uh, anyway, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe, and what's the other bit? Forgotten. Uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up. I think I said that. Um, and yeah, and press the bell for notifications so you get future uploads. So thanks for your time, guys. See you again soon.